Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to another Java tutorial. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to call a private method in Java. But first, if you're new here, my name's Alex. On this channel, I post a Java tutorial just like this one every single week. I also have free tips on how to think like a programmer in the description down below. So here's how to call a private method in Java. Let's go to new Java project together. We'll call it something like my project. And then in the source folder, go to new class. We'll call it something like main for the main class. Hit this public static void main checkbox and finish. I'll show you like a little workaround to access a private method from another class. But first I wanna show you that if it's private, you can, um, you can call it from the same class. So if we just had a private method here, that just like said hi, called say hi, and we're just printing out hi. We can call this in the main method, just like this, say hi. Save and run this, and it has no problems running it. If it was in another class, however, so if we click on the source folder and go to new class, call it something like other class, for example, hit finish. If we had a private method like that, um, I'll just remove this. If that was in here, save, and then we tried to use that. We don't see that say hi method come up. If it was public, however, we would not have that problem. Since this method is static, I should be calling it like this. If it is not static, then we would have to call it like this. But it works either way because it's public. So here's how you do it if this is private. It's like a little workaround. We get the error, we can't access it, type this. And then in these parentheses, type the name of the class in quotes. This could cause an error. That's why we see this red underline. So we're just gonna click add throws declaration. That just adds this, this little section at the top of our method, letting us know that something could go wrong. We wanna throw an exception so it's easier to debug. Then do this. This cross through means it's deprecated. We get another red underline because it wants to throw another exception, but we're just gonna throw all exceptions by just changing this to exception. This is a generic exception, so it'll handle all the other ones for us. The reason there's a line through this is because it's deprecated, which means it's not supported anymore, but it still works. Next we'll do method c.getDeclared method. The method name is say hi, and just leave this second parameter as null. Next, let's import that method code. This lets us use what we're about to do to get that private method working. Now, this is where the magic happens. We do m dot set accessible to true, and then m dot invoke o null. <laughs> I told you, it's like a workaround. But if we save and run it, then we'll see hi, okay? If we change this to something like, yay, I can access this private method, save and run, we get it, which is pretty cool. I didn't know you could do this until recently. So that's how you do it. It's a bit of a workaround. Hopefully it helps you out. If you have private methods in that other class, and you can't change them to public, then that means it's restricted and it's private for a reason. You might also have private variables at the top, which you can access with public methods. So use the methods to change the private variables. But to access private methods, try this little workaround, see if that helps you. So thanks, have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next video.